substance has now entered your body, and it, your, and it doesn't know how your body will react to it. Now it has entered your brain, and now it has confused your, your neurotransmitters, which is causing you to feel either jittery or alert. This substance is called caffeine. <laughs> so, a lot of us consume caffeine in our everyday lives, either for waking up or because it just happens to be in one of our food products that we eat every day. So, personally, I've been drinking a lot of coffee these days, and I've been consuming a lot of caffeine. So, I've been noticing how my body has been changing, which is not... Um, a good thing, which I will be explaining later on, what kind of effects that I've also been uh, feeling. And many of us take, ad we don't take advantage of it, we abuse caffeine, and we don't know the effects of caffeine. So, a popular substance known as caffeine is widely being consumed for its benefits. However, some of the effects are harmful to one's health. First, I will tell you how, um, I will briefly tell you how caffeine was discovered. Then I will tell you how caffeine is distributed in the body. After, I will tell you the benefits of caffeine. And finally, I will tell you the negative effects of caffeine. So I will begin by explaining a brief history of the discovery of caffeine. So caffeine has been around for a long time, a very long time. Some archaeologists say that it has been around or been used since the Stone Age. So, in an article by Daniel Snyder published on September, t an article by Di Daniel Snyder published on September 20th, 2010, at Nanji.com, archaeologists found co cocoa beans as one of the earlier uses of caffeine by the Omics who lived in Mexico. During that time, they believed that they used to use it for drinking hot chocolate, which was somehow produced back then. So, next. So, caffeine is a. There is a market for caffeine. So, according to an article, oh no, in 1921, Friedrich Fernand Rouge, that's him, he discovered that caffeine was the energy source of coffee, of coffee beans to be exact. He was told by one of his colleagues to extract whatever was in the, in, the, in the coffee beans, and he came up with caffeine. So <clears throat> many years later, actually one year later, caffeine was extracted from tea, and that's how people started to know that tea had caffeine as well. But later on, um, other drinks such as soft drink sodas, people extracted the caffeine from there, and that's how we know that caffeine comes Caffeine is also in soft drinks. So although, although we have a lot of plants and leaves in our world, we don't know exactly which civilization or which place first discovered caffeine. So next. So these are products with caffeine, tea, coffee, energy drinks, diet, diet pills, chocolate, soda, and also dairy products such as yogurt. So now that I've talked to you about the discovery of caffeine, now next I will tell you about um, how caffeine is distributed into your body. So caffeine is a bitter white crystalline Xanthine alkaloid that is mostly common, it's mostly used as a stimulant. After caffeine is consumed, it begins to, uh, it, it's, its components are spread to your body. According to an article written, by, written and published by the Food and Drug Administration in fall 2007, caffeine reaches its peak level in the, in the blood within one hour, and after four to six hours, it uh, it starts to wear off. <clears throat> and according to Daniel Snyder of Noji.com, caffeine enters the central nervous system through the blood, then it transfers to plasma, and the plasma travels up to the brain. And after it has reached the brain, it affects the neurotransmitters, 
and it causes an imbalance in your hormones. A hormone called adenosine, which helps your sleep, is blocked. So it prevents you from sleeping or has trouble. It gives you trouble to sleep. So now that I have told you how how caffeine is distributed into your body and how it goes up to your brain and causes imbalances, I will now talk I will now tell you about the benefits of caffeine. So caffeine creates produces a hormone called dopamine in your brain and it is released and after low moderations or low doses of caffeine Studies show that motor coordination and mood are improved. According to Daniel Snyder of Noji.com, mood becomes energetic, imaginative, e efficient, self-confident, alert, self-motivated, and happier. So, and somehow, uh, because of the change in mood, your metabolism also changes, so it becomes faster. So benefits of caffeine, some other benefits are that you get improved memory, improved concentration, lower risks of diseases, decreased fatigue, or improved short-term memory. In an article published by the Los Angeles Times on January 13, 2014, Deborah Netburn talks about a study at, Hop at Job Hop John Hopkins University about pattern separation memory. They use 60 people in the study, and half of them are given placebo pills, and the other half are given 200 milligrams of caffeine. And after the next day, the, the 60 people who used the caffeine pills, they showed that their memory, their pattern separation memory was better than the other people. Pattern separation memory is when you remember something from the past, but not exactly as it was before. But um, because of that caffeine, it showed that it did improve their short-term memory. So the... The downside of caffeine is that if it is, if it is consumed too frequently, or if you con or if you inhale or consume the pure substance of caffeine, which is this powder form right here, um, it can cause lethal effects. So some effects are high blood pressure, high sugar, decreased bone density, jangled nerves, insomnia, palpitations, tumors, or tremors, I'm sorry, and chest pains. So according to Dan S Daniel Snyder of Noe.com, um, the body becomes immune to the caffeine, and after a while, you're going to have to consume even more ca caffeine to actually feel the normal effects of caffeine, such as alertness. And too much caffeine can cause high levels of adosinine, which causes withdrawal sy symptoms, such as uh, tiredness, cravings, uh, confusion. So, and if you if you uh, consume this pure ca pure substance of caffeine, uh, it can cause uh, even it can it can, it is very dangerous. You can actually die from it. So, according to Daniel Schneider of Noji.com, consuming it can cause dizziness, fever, vomiting, and hypotension. Now that I've talked to you about the negative effects of caffeine, I will not conclude. So the popular substance known as caffeine is widely being consumed for its benefits. However, some of the effects are, harm, are harm, harmful for our health. First, I talked to you about the discovery of caffeine. Then I talked to you about how it is distributed throughout your body. Then I, tell, then I explained the positive and negative effects of caffeine. So next time that you guys consider consuming caffeine, such as your energy drinks or coffee just to wake up, please uh, keep in mind what kind of effects you're going to get from consuming it. Thank you.